Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ Bless. Welcome to another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Josiah. With me, I have Soji Araka. So, today's topic uh, we're going to bring clarity to Acts 9 and 7 and Acts 22 and 9. So, let's begin with uh, Acts chapter 9. Just start at um, verse 3. This is the book of Acts. Sorry, one. It's fine. The book of Acts, chapter 9 and verse 1. And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, mm -hmm. went unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. Go ahead. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus and suddenly... There shined round about him a light from heaven, mm -hmm. and he fell to the earth, and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Go ahead. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Okay, to kick against the pricks means to fight against God. Read on. And he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord... What wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Go ahead. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. So this is one of the verses we want to bring clarity to. Read it again. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. So it says the men that journeyed with him, it says they heard a voice, but they didn't see a man. Jump to Acts 22 and 9. Okay. This is the book of Acts, chapter 22 and verse 9. And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. So now this is Paul giving his account on the event that we just read about in Acts chapter 9. Read it one more time. Verse 9. And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. So now it says they, they saw the light, but they did not hear the voice that spake unto him. Jump back to Acts 9. Read 7. This is the book of Acts chapter 9 and verse 7. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. So here it says they heard a voice. In Acts 22, it says they didn't hear a voice. So now, we're going to clear it up so we can get the understanding thereof. Go to Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4. Let's start at verse 10. This is the book of Mark chapter 4 and verse 10. And when he was alone... They that were round about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. So Christ had just finished giving them a parable. When they got private by themselves, they asked him. Go ahead. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of so God. They, they asked him, you know, you can read in other accounts. They asked him, you know, why are you speaking in parables? So read it again. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. It says, unto you it is given to know the mystery of God. Of God. Go ahead. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Come on. Why? See, that seeing they may see mm -hmm. and not perceive. It says, seeing they may see and not perceive. Go ahead. And hearing they may hear and not understand. And hearing they may hear and not understand. Go ahead. At, at least at any time, they should be converted mm -hmm. and their sins should be forgiven them. Go ahead. And he said unto them, know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? So the Most High has it set up for everybody to hear the gospel at a specific time. He has his elect that he wants them to hear the gospel at a particular time. And those others, they may or may not. Okay, when they hear it, they may or may not understand it. That's what it's saying in verse 12. Read 12 again. Verse 12. That seeing they may see 
and not proceed. You know, that's the same thing now when we go out in the streets and teach and everybody look at us like we crazy. Right. They see us and they're like, what the hell is this? Okay. It's the same thing. Read on. And hearing, they may hear and not understand. They hear us teach, but they say, hey, that's a cult. Okay. Right. They don't understand. It's the same thing now. Go ahead. At least at any time, <clears throat> they should be converted mm -hmm. and their sins should be forgiven them. So that's why they don't. When they see us and they hear us, they don't understand because it's not their time to be converted. Right. So jump to uh, John chapter 12. The book of John chapter 12. We're just going to give you a couple of precepts to uh, get the understanding of those two scriptures. John 12 verse 40. This is the book of John chapter 12 and verse 40. He hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart. That they should not see with their eyes, mm. nor understand with their heart, mm -hmm. and be converted, and I should heal them. So read again. Verse 40. He hath blinded their eyes. He hath blinded their eyes. And hardened their heart. Go ahead. That they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their heart, and be converted, and I should heal them. You see that? So the Most High has spiritual blinders on certain people. Okay, over your eyes and your ears that you can't see and perceive and hear and understand. Okay, let's go to John chapter 8. The book of John chapter 8. Give me verse 43. This is the book of John chapter 8 and verse 43. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? You see that Christ asked the question, OK, why do you not understand my speech? Because you don't hear my word. Could they literally hear? Yes, they could hear. They heard everything he said, but they couldn't understand because the Most High had spiritual blinders on their ears and eyes. OK, Get, read it one more time. Verse 43. Why do you not understand my speech? Uh -huh. Even because you cannot hear my word. So now uh, jump to Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 1 and 2. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 1. The word of the Lord also came unto me, saying, Son of man, th thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house. Uh -huh. So which we... Like today, we dwell in the midst of a rebellious house. Okay, our people do not want to hear the scriptures. Go ahead. Which have eyes to see and see not. Wait a minute, they have what? Which have eyes to see and see not. You have eyes to see but see not. Meaning what? You don't understand what you're seeing. You don't understand why men, you have over a thousand men marching through Chicago. They don't understand that. Okay, read it again. Son of man. Thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house, mm -hmm. which have eyes to see and see not. Go ahead. They have ears to hear and hear not. So they hear the songs. They hear the chants, the marching and so forth. But they don't understand why these things are going on. Okay, read it again. Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house. Go ahead. Which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not. For they are a rebellious house. So your rebellion is what puts spiritual blindness on your eyes and ears. OK, when we humble our spirits down to the Most High's word, then he'll begin to lift those blinders off of us. So go back to Acts 9 real quick. Acts chapter 9, verse 7. This is the book of Acts chapter 9 and verse 7. And the men which journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. So it says hearing a voice, but seeing no man. Acts 22 and 9 says, hearing a voice, but seeing no man. This is the book of Acts, chapter 22 and verse 9. And they that were with me saw indeed the light mm -hmm. and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. So what does it mean? It's not really that they didn't hear the voice or they didn't see the light or saw the man. They weren't, the Most High was not dealing with them at that particular time. That was Saul's moment to be converted into Paul. OK, so it wasn't that they could not literally see or hear. They couldn't understand what was going on. The Most High had spiritual blinders on them at that particular time. So 
With that, Lord's will, you got something out of the lesson. With that, we say shalom. Shalom. Most high Christ bless. Most high Christ bless. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.